So the final presentation we'll talk about in this lecture series is a performing advocacy course led by Joanne Gilbert at Alba. The main focus of this course was what we call performance ethnography, um, which is using community-based performance as a way to work towards social justice, that you have individuals who come together and they actually do performance to lead to social justice. And the, the goal of this is to perform the narratives of those who are marginalized. And again, uh, Dwight Conkergood did much of this type of work um, to focus on uh, giving voice to marginalized groups. So part of what they did through this process was what they call everyday life performance, which is to listen to an audio recording. So you actually go out and you interview the people who um, are uh, individuals and I, in fact, saw Dwight Conkergood do some of these performance ethnographies um, at a National Communication Association conference. And the, the group that he was dealing with for this situation were individuals who were actually on death row. And he would kind of take on their voice and do the performance so that we could get a sense of, um, of those individuals um, on you know, as close to their terms as possible. So you speak the words along with the audio, so you actually learn the cadence, you learn how to talk and, and perform that person. And then you perform the text without an audio or transcript, you just perform the text, right? So it's this notion that you have a total immersion experience. So as you're learning to perform that person, speak their words in their voice, you get a deeper understanding of their experience. So the service learning project was um, focused on what they call Never Forget Your Dreams, which is the Crazy Horse Memorial Project. Um, in the Black Hills, um, in the same area where they have Mount Rushmore that have all these American presidents, they also have what's called the Crazy Horse uh, Memorial. And it's it's being developed slowly over time. It's It's been stalled because the person who was originally uh, carving it died. Um, but you can still see it, the Crazy Horse's head and... Um, you know, and he's reaching out his arm. It's a pretty substantial project. And if you just look online, um, Crazy Horse Memorial, you'll see uh, pictures and so forth of, of it. So the service learning project was a narrative performance. And the narrative performance focused on the Ziolkowski's family's advocacy for North American Indians. The, um, Ziolkowski was the person who uh, started carving the actual Crazy Horse Memorial, and the family has been involved in, um, you know, putting together the resources to get the memorial built and to have the structure um, and, the, and the, the lands and so forth that are involved with that project. And also, so you have the Zakowski family and you have the struggle of a contemporary Lakota. So you have uh, Lakota voices, and Lakota voices specifically talking about uh, poverty, uh, racism that they experience, forced assimilation. We've talked a little bit about forced assimilation and other tragedies that have happened with Native Americans earlier on um, when we talked about tribal sovereignty. And the dialogic narrative of those two voices. So the Zalkowski family, who is this you know, newer family who came to America, this immigrant family, and the uh, and the Lakota in, and the people that they advocated for the Lakota and the relationship of the Lakota. So this the the narrative of the two voices, not one um, kind of speaking for the other, but both voices talking at the same time. And the focus on this was what we call perspective taking. Obviously, you see this in your book and advocacy, right? Doing the actual work. Now, in communication, a lot of what we focus on is this notion of advocacy. We teach people how to communicate so that they can have a voice and that they can advocate for others. So it's a very important aspect of what we do in communication. It's this notion that um, we become experts in being able to present our case and then we can be experts in presenting the case of others. That's why so many people from communication um, degrees go on into law school because it's a role of advocacy. So you can see that there's this project here, this aim here to be able to then what the what the final product is is the performance itself to say hey 
we're doing this performance so that we can raise awareness and we of um, you know not only the project itself but factors involving um, you know the Lakota Sioux and um, the struggles that they have to go through in um, a, their intercultural um, tension with the um, you know U.S. government, but more you know more than that dominant U.S. society um, that don't really, um, th that have, don't understand the, the, um, the structural power systems that the Lakota Sioux have to operate under and um, the struggles that they go through on a daily basis um, in negotiating those structures of power. So I hope you're able to see through these different case studies um, and start thinking about ways to address intercultural conflict and to bring about social justice. We want to move beyond the kind of what we would say um, the charitable notion of um, engaging intercultural tension, which is, oh, this poor group over here, they're not as fortunate as I am. I'm going to do something nice for them. I'll feel good about myself. But then I have not done anything to change the structures of power that, in fact, put this other group in their unfortunate situation. We want to be moving towards actually making structural differences and focusing on structural differences as opposed to these kind of one-off um, situations where I can feel good about myself. Oh, like I sent water. To, I sent. I collected a bunch of money to send water water wells over to Africa. It's like, okay, great. I feel great about myself. But have I actually done anything to to address issues like the um, uh, you know the World Bank or um, any other factors that could in fact put these other areas in in this this cycle of poverty that they're in based on um, international monetary um, practices. So again, you can. I'm hoping you can see how we can move toward doing work to actually truly bring about social justice and truly help change the lives of uh, those that are um, kind of in the less favorable position of a world of intercultural conflict. Thank you. Have a great day.